Alright, what's up guys? As always, welcome back to another OE game versus Micro XP from Twitter. Now, this is a tough team. There is some very, very nasty things going on here. The only thing I own in this matchup is potentially the capability of breaking my team or my opponent's team in half. But I see Lightning Terrain and I see in Halucha. I also see that I have no means of stopping that very same Halucha. Um, good leads. The Felgor is real nice, actually naturally. Um, if I were to consider a very traumatic matchup, I would say the Gaffafel, depending on the set, could be either a Nubers variant with um, the Shadow Tag variant, or I could be fine. But just because here Gaffafel, I kind of have to consider that maybe it is a trapping variant, and if so, I mean, well, yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, so my opponent's gonna lead off with Masamune. Oh. All right, so not only do I neglect his power output naturally, um, he should be able to U-turn versus me. Let's see, he doesn't have any natural switch-ins really. But I do want to send in my Balrog here. Mainly because his switching should be... I don't want to bring in Gothavel unprovoked. So I think if he U-turns here... Um, oh, that's greedy. I don't know about that. He could be carrying superpower maybe. Um, stealth rocking here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to Ariel. Malorek. It's fine. Or not really. Um, this is definitely a tough Pokemon to break. I think I only like two switch into this. Oh, it's the Flame Orb variant. So... Now I'm gonna break him specially. <laughs> Sending his soul that I think gets... Um, no brainer play. Not to get um, Aurora Veil up. I think that's unnecessary, but let's see. Like, recover is one of the moves. Flip turn. That's fair. Question is are we getting Gothithel here? Massa Moon is back. But now it's four times effective. <laughs> Let's see, leftovers and soul stats. All right, cool. Kind of have to consider it being somewhat of a bulkier variant then. Um, got us any Mythos? No, he's not going to enjoy it. The right play is U-turn. Sending in Balroy anyway, I think there's no reason for me of trying to do this back and forth. I do want to keep Scissor at bay, though that's clearly his uh, his wing call. Um, bullet punch. Cool. <clears throat> nope. My air balloon surely popped. It's so, alright. Last time he didn't enjoy staying in. And I have to consider him being offensively capable. Now if we didn't want to actually want to stay at the end of these hits. So I'm actually going to do a force switch here, bringing in Frigid Tooth just to get a really, really nasty Bolt Beak out of the way. I like that he attack was in front of him. I think that's actually speak volume for my opponent. There is no reason going for that weird U-turn and put yourself in a tough position. I am clearly doing that myself, so let's see what he wanted to do. Yeah, we draws. Nice. Cool. Great. To Ariel. So, all things considered, I will be able to outspeed it, but I definitely won't break it. There's a lot of residuals there, though. Um, let's see. Matchup. Only one ground type. I'm bolt peeking anyway. Stays in, tell me it breaks him. Oh, 
yeah. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Let's see, Ragnarok. Okay. That's kind of aggressive. Now my bolt beak is boosted to the heavens. I mean, I gotta do it. That's my strongest hit versus him. I should be able to have speed. Unless he's scarfed. Come on, buddy. Arc Assault, you've done so much for me. Probably more than you should have. Yes! Boosted, baby! Boosted! Hell yeah. Absolutely worth it. <laughs> oh, that was a crit. Alright. Alright. Callisto. Yeah. It's all right. Electric Seed. And he has a free soul stance. It does outspeed me no matter what. And my only play here is, let's see. How many more turns of hail do I have? Free. Which means I should be able to do this. If his soul stands up, it's gonna be unfortunate. But his best play should be close combat. Alright, I, I am staying nervous. Soul stance, yeah, I think that's fair. So an acrobat is gonna come my way, and as far as he is aware, he probably thinks I'm physical. So I hope he's greedy as I go for this Wither Ball. Yes, he is greedy. He is greedy. Um, I hope this Wither Ball kills. Come on. Come on, boy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, it's not over, but it's definitely turned out a lot worse. Because I have still Heatron active, which is clearly my wing con versus his fire blasting scissor. He is really thinking though, so... <clears throat> me being kind of an orthodox kind of helped me there. Alright, brings in Ragnarok again. Uh, this time I'm clearly not as lucky when it comes to pressure him. Only one more turn of hail. I don't want to risk. Actually, what could he do? Besides whittle me down, that is. Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam. I mean, I don't have a ground side to kind of, like, block him. And I need a veil. Do a risk for Felgor. It makes Sister a very, very terrifying mom for me. That I don't. Um, damn it. Yeah, this is like the worst kind of scenario, isn't it? I'm sitting in Mythos. I hope he U-turns. Mythos is, no matter what, kind of irrelevant for this matchup. Let's see. Defox. Hey, my rocks, buddy. And your terrain, clearly. I guess it's not half bad. Huh. Though I am surprised about that play. Should I roost to just check the damage? It's clearly going to U-turn on me. Question is what a U-turns to? Right. This is this is kind of a game of chicken I feel. This is, this is very, very tough. Resetting my hail, 
or doing something weird. I think he's sax play here. I'm gonna heat wave. <laughs> because versus goth, I have two kind of things going my way. The only thing he can in theory do is like cost me power. He can't stall me out, that's for sure. I'll take I happily take any chip here. <laughs> Burn maniac. Okay. So can I switch out? Haha, <laughs> bitch. Alright, so we're we're air slashing here for obvious reasons. Can always like his only like real plays versus me are there we go, cosmic power. Um, the only like he, things he can do is stalling me, and if he stalls, he's still loose. If I and plus if I get a flinch here, this guy is gone. Or if I miss, that's kind of nice too. There you go. So we have rest, most likely. Sleep talk. All right, so this is not ideal. Most likely stalled power. But that's the thing, he can't win. Or he can, but I definitely won't allow him to. I just need a flinches anyway. Or a crit, I'll take anything. I knew this was a scenario, I was very aware of it. Damn shame I missed, really. Let's see, free cosmic powers. I mean, we are playing Ubers now, aren't we? I'm just wondering what combination he has. Cosmic power, rest, stored power. The question is whether or not the last move is like sleep talk or something like that. Um, I'll definitely think he's greedy. Crit would have been nice. Maybe I got greedy. I knew this was a position I was eventually going to end up with. Which was kind of why I wanted to get Sand Slash in. Can I even get a flinch? Come on! Come on, buddy. I don't want to bring this to the timer. Oh, there we go! <laughs> Should have happened a bit earlier, though. <laughs> Maybe I can get two once in a row. So I'm getting a feeling he doesn't have sleep talk. I just need the flinches. Damn it. <laughs> so there is nothing he can do. I know that. Or his stored power clearly, clearly can KO. And um, I should be able to kind of roost him away, I guess. But he also knows that basically he has no more means of beating me besides this. So hopefully I should be able to summon at least one stored power. And by that I kind of hope I can just roost. To kind of shake him like that, but I think that's very unlikely. As of right now, he has just... Come on, where's my crit? Nasty plot. Oh! Nasty plot and stored power. So I guess we are done after all. <laughs> well, damn. Well, damn. I 
I mean, what can I do here? I'm going to try to bolt beak break him. Keeps costing me powering, so... Uh, I mean, I crit here and we get it. We need a bit, bit of 10% of um, luck here. And he can just rest. Crit, come on! Or flinch. Yeah, there we go. Gets him in the bag. <laughs> body bag, body bag. Crit or flinch, crit or flinch. <laughs> well, what can I say? The game does not favor stall ever. <laughs> never has been, never will have. So with that said, let's break him down. Oh, you pussy. Pussy. Micro XP, micro penis. <laughs> you know what? I take it. If you're trying to beat me with stall, I'll happily say that yeah, you would probably have won, but you're also always risking of eventually getting critted, and eventually the game gets you down. I'll try that to trap before and was punished for it. I think it's fair to be punished by not intentionally offensively checking anything. There was four minutes remaining of that time or that timer. Do you really think you would have been able to win with that? I could happily have decided not to move, just to disrupt your flow. I would never play like that, but we are playing, playing our game with a 20 minute timer. You don't stall for greed. I'm sorry about that, but that's, that's why you lose. Sorry, micro penis. Anyway, with that said, that's all you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that game. It definitely went down to where it shouldn't have happened, and I loved it more for it. So with that said, as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day, everyone. Right?